Hey dudes, it's P-Dubs, the Arcade 1-Up NFL Blitz Cabinet is here. It's time to give my final, final word, final thoughts on this arcade cabinet. I've covered this thing extensively since it was first announced. I've released several videos telling you all the pros and cons of this cabinet, but now that I finally unboxed it and built it and spent some quality time with it over the last week, it's time to tell you what I think. This cabinet does retail for $600. I did order it from Arcade 1-Up directly, and I did pay for this cabinet out of my own pocket. It has some awesomeness, but plenty of shortcomings. And with the rising cost of these cabinets over the years, we're now at the six $700 price range. This cabinet is $600, and for $600, the price of a major home modern day gaming console such as an Xbox or a PlayStation, we shouldn't have these kind of issues. We should have marquees that are well lit. This marquee is washed out. Many owners are already upgrading it, having to spend more money to fix their marquee when they shouldn't have to out of the box. The buttons suck. The fact that these buttons are the same damn buttons we've had for four years is inexcusable. Arcade 1UP should finally, for that premium price tag, be giving us better buttons in the box. But when it comes to the 49-way joystick, that thing is killer. Over the last four years, I've collected several dozen Arcade 1UP cabinets. I've tried nearly every product that they've released, and I can confidently tell you that these 49-way joysticks are the best feeling and best quality joysticks that they've ever released and you do get four of them built into your purchase into your control panel these joysticks are absolutely phenomenal the only question is is will they stand the test of time only time will tell those joysticks are plugged into probably one of the best looking control panels arcade one up has ever done this thing is sexy as hell it's fun to play and you can easily fit you know two to four people on this cabinet provided some people are skinny this cabinet is almost 61 inches tall when placed on a riser, and the fact that the cabinet's about 3 inches higher than we've normally seen on Arcade 1UP cabinets with the slanted control panel, it feels fantastic, man. This is probably one of the best feeling cabinets I've ever stood in front of from Arcade 1UP, and it has a slanted control panel, but it doesn't hurt my hands the way the Arcade 1UP Big Blue did. There is a live button on the control panel because this cabinet is online enabled, but only via Wi-Fi, that's right, no Ethernet, which worries me when the online gaming actually goes live, how good of an experience is it going to be if we can't hardwire our connection? And by the way, if you're new to Blitz or haven't played Blitz in a long time, everything you need to know on how to play the game is built into the control panel and bezel. We have a plain black kick plate with dual molded plastic coin doors, fake coin doors, which you can light up the buttons yourself aftermarket. And these look fantastic as always. Big fan of these ever since Arcade 1UP started doing them. A riser will come included with your purchase no matter where you buy this cabinet from. That's also what gets this thing up to 61 inches, plus the extended side panels which add an additional 3 inches versus a standard size Arcade 1UP cabinet. But the fact of the matter is, for $600, I mean, we're talking XL pricing, premium pricing. Again, Arcade 1UP, if you want us to pay premium pricing, you gotta give us premium stuff. And this should have just been an XL cabinet instead of the cheesy cabinet on a riser. Now when this product was revealed, the renders we saw showed high resolution artwork on the sides of the cabinet. As you can see, we got that, well, when it comes to just the NFL logo in the top corner of the side panels. But when it comes to the rest of the side panels, that's not what you're gonna get. Not what was advertised. We all knew, we were all well aware that they weren't going to go with the original NFL Blitz artwork, which is, you know, you can make statements for it against it. The original artwork was kind of ugly, and you could, Arcade went up, I guess, wanted to pimp this cabinet out with a bunch of celebrity endorsements and get their names, faces, and signatures on this cabinet and in their commercials. But this pixelated NFL film's grainy mess that they decided to go with instead of just high-resolution artwork photos of these Hall of Fame players sucks in my opinion. Some of you might like it. Honestly, I think this looks like shit. I'm happy to say there are no speaker or sound issues with this cabinet. This cabinet is loud, it's proud, and it bangs. It's got some great bass to it, etc. This is an awesome sounding cabinet to play with the down firing speakers in the front. Definitely brings you into the game and immerses you into the hard hitting action. 
And we do have that awesome 17 inch BOE best on earth monitor, which is vibrant, colorful, and it looks great from all four player positions on this cabinet. I played this in groups of four with my fellow YouTube content creators in Chicago, as well as I played this solo, as well as I played this with my son. And no matter where I stand, I can see the screen and the gameplay just fine despite the fact that this is a smaller form factor arcade cabinet versus the original arcade. There are three games included on the cabinet, including NFL Blitz, NFL Blitz 99, NFL Blitz 2000 Gold Edition. I'm sure you've watched or seen my other videos that are linked below that show you all the changes and concessions they had to make in order to secure the license and bring these games to us, and they've made a lot of changes. A lot of changes. One, th one change that they've made that's good is one of the recent firmware updates did activate the online leaderboards for the games. This gives you a reason to keep coming back and play on the cabinet. I love the fact that these are working and it appears that they are working correctly now. And it tracks all kinds of stats, best QB rating, passes, rushes, touchdowns, sacks, points per game, etc. for the online leaderboards. And this is just the leaderboards against the computer. Can't wait until we could actually play against each other online. All of the games do save your scores as well as your record keeping, that's right, so if you wanted to play through and beat all 30 teams, win the Super Bowl in all the games, etc., you can do that. All you have to do is enter your initials, your key code, just like you did on the original arcade that was local to your home, and you can continue your gaming progress and uh, hopefully win the Super Bowl and beat all 30 teams. So it's pretty cool that that all saves, no issues as you can see right now. I'm 5-1 on the NFL Blitz, trying to beat all 30 teams. It's important to be aware that although there's three Blitz games on here, they're not the Blitz games you remember. They have been changed dramatically versus the original games from our youth. All three games, Arcade 1UP had to take the original source code and create custom Android versions of these games to run on their custom Android PCB boards, and they had to make a lot of changes. Removal of Midway logos, removal of certain commentary, and game sounds. They also had to remove all late hits due to the NFL's anti-violence policy. They also had to remove 16% of the hardest and most violent and fun tackles in the game. They really had to tone this thing down. You still get 86 some percent of the tackles. The game is still high impact. It's still loud. It's still exciting. But if you are an NFL Blitz fan, a diehard fan, you're going to notice all of that is missing when you go to play this cabinet. If you're a more casual gamer, you're probably not going to notice and you're not going to care. I have a video on my channel that does provide for you the list of all the original arcade cheat codes for Big Head Mode, Unlimited Turbo, all that kinds of stuff. Uh, you guys want to check that link out in the video description below. A lot of those codes still work and they work fantastically. Not every code works, but a huge, huge amount of codes work for all the games. Also, when it comes to the emulation, a lot of people have pointed out since this cabinet was released over a month ago in stores that there are plenty of bugs in the games. There's slowdowns, there's weird things popping up on the screen, letters. I've had it a couple of times where I've been, it's been in the third quarter and all of a sudden the game resets. It kicks me out of the game, sends me back to the main menu. And that actually just started since their super secret firmware that they released the other day went through. Now when I try to play a full game, I've had it happen to me a couple of times where the damn game just kicks me out of the game since they sent out a firmware patch the other day. And also, Arcade 1UP is supposed to be supporting this cabinet and providing firmware updates and patches and getting this thing, you know, the way it should be. And they've been super secret, super silent, not letting us know what the hell is going on with this game. And also not telling us what is in the release notes, expected delivery of when the online play is going to go live, etc. As it stands right now, this cabinet is still super fun to play, but it has a lot of quirks. And due to a lot of the quirks and the things that they had to get rid of, I cannot tell my viewers to go buy this cabinet for 600 bucks. Like I've said in all my other videos about this cabinet, I would wait until you see this thing marked down to around 400 bucks, 450, etc., and pick it up then because I don't think this cabinet is giving me a premium experience. Even when that online play goes live, I still don't think I'm getting the total premium experience that I should be getting for a premium price tag. Let me know what you guys think. Give me your thoughts, feedback, reactions below. Give us a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.